Hello guys, in today's video, I'll walk you through how to fix an issue with setting up Windows Hello fingerprint on Windows 11. Let me show you the error first. When I try to set up the fingerprint recognition under Windows Hello, I get the message. We couldn't find a fingerprint scanner compatible with Windows Hello fingerprint. If you're seeing the same error, don't worry. This video is for you. I'll guide you step by step on how to resolve this issue and also how to properly set up your Windows Hello Pin. But first, we need to make sure the Windows Biometric Service is running. To do this, go to Windows Search and type Services. Open the Services app. Once it's open, then type W on your keyboard to quickly locate Windows Biometric Service in the list. When you find it, double click to open its properties. Make sure the startup type is set to automatic. If the service status shows as stopped, click start to run it. If it is already running, then stop it first, then start again. After doing this, click apply and OK to save the changes. Once done, close the services window. Next, open device manager. Right click on Windows start button and select device manager we need to go through each step carefully to ensure Windows Hello can be set up correctly. In Device Manager, look for Biometric Devices. If you see it listed, right-click on the driver and choose Update Driver. If you don't see anything Biometric Devices, it may be hidden. To reveal it, click on your computer's name at the top of the list. Go to Action and select Scan for Hardware Changes. If it's still not showing, go to View, then select Show Hidden Devices and check again. If the Windows Biometric device still isn't showing, don't worry. Let's move on to the third method, which uses the Group Policy Editor. Click on the Windows search bar, type Group Policy, and from the search suggestions, click on Edit Group Policy to open the Group Policy Editor. Once it's open, extend the computer configuration, then administrative templates, Windows components, then click on biometrics folder. You'll see three important settings here that need to be enabled. Allow the use of biometrics. Allow users to log on using biometrics. Allow domain users to log on using biometrics. Double click on each of these policies one by one select Enabled, and then click Apply, and OK. After enabling all three policies, close the Group Policy Editor and restart your system. Once your computer restarts, check if the fingerprint or Windows Hello feature is now working properly. If your issue still isn't resolved, it might be due to a recent Windows update. Sometimes, new updates can interfere with the biometric features. This step is only recommended if your Windows biometric service is already running. To proceed, click on Windows Start button, then go to the Windows settings. Right hand side, click on Windows Update, then click on Update History. Scroll down in Related Setting and select Uninstall Updates. Look for the most recent update in the list and uninstall it. Once the uninstallation is complete, restart your system and check if the issue is resolved. If the issue still isn't resolved, then as a final step, try running a system file check. Go to Windows Search, type CMD, open command prompt as administrator, and type the command SFC backslash scan now. This command will scan your system for any corrupted files and attempt to repair them automatically. If any issues are found and fixed, you'll see a message confirming the repairs. At the moment, my computer is showing the message, there is a system repair pending, which requires a reboot to complete. If you see this message, simply restart your computer first and then run the SFC command again. If any issues are found and fixed, you'll see a message confirming the repairs. Once the scan is complete and any necessary repairs have been made, go ahead and restart your system. Hopefully, this will resolve the problem. However, if the issue still persists, even after trying all the methods mentioned, you might need to reset your windows or perform a clean installation. Additionally, make sure your device is actually compatible with Windows Hello. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and share it with others who might find it useful. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.